Hello friends, EJ here, Unfiltered Podcast, uh, just turned off the game, finished the game, the Raptors win the NBA Finals, uh, winning their first championship in uh, team history, and uh, they, uh, it's what a game, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating game, fascinating series, a, a bit of a letdown to some degree because of the the injuries, especially on the Golden State side. Um, certainly, this could have even been even more of a competitive series had, say, even just Clay Thompson been available for every game. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes, you know, I, I'm looking back at the, the entire Golden State run, the last five years, and they've gotten breaks to themselves. I'm not, and I'm not saying taking taking away from their run of five years, three titles, five years, because they've gotten breaks themselves. But um, I guess the karma, the karma, I guess now sort of flipped for one year on the Toronto side. Uh, Toronto, of course, you know, what a season when you consider that they b- basically went all in for one season, trading for Kawhi Leonard, you know, trading away their, their franchise player, DeMar DeRozan, before the year started. Top, certainly a top 20 player in the league, a really, really good player for Kawhi Leonard, who was who isn't guaranteed to stay, even now, isn't guaranteed to stay beyond this season. Um... He, he will be a free agent uh, in a few weeks. Um, and there's still speculation about whether or not he will stay in Toronto regardless if they won a the title or not. Now they won the titles. So maybe that, maybe that could help their chances of staying even, even on a short-term deal maybe to some degree. Uh, but, wow. I mean, if you're Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors, I mean, if, if you could if you, if you would have thought that this team would at least forget being in the finals. Let's win, forget winning the finals we'll get into the finals in general. I mean, that 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 is a accomplishment in itself. But to win the finals against the Golden State Warriors, albeit some of the things that happened in this series has certainly helped their case. But again, injuries are part of the game, so you can't you can't use excuses um on this end also too. In the same fashion you could use the excuse on the other end when Golden State was winning titles. You know, it is what it is. Um but for Kawhi Leonard, I mean Kawhi Leonard winning two finals MVPs now, um two separate teams. Remember we won in twenty fourteen from which ended the Heat Dynasty or potential dynasty, if you call it a dynasty at this point, and then pretty much, pretty much, possibly putting it into the White Warriors dynasty year too. We'll see how the Golden State Warriors approach free agency. They got a lot of decisions to make going forward, and, and the current Kevin Durant injury definitely makes things even more complicated. Um, but Toronto, I mean, again, what a story! What a story! Uh, you know. Game six, you know, they and even when you know, and, and of course, you know, like Clay Thompson had a phenomenal game, and then he went down late in the third quarter. Um, he left the game with 30 points with it when would look to be a knee injury. We'll get more on that. Um, he didn't, he didn't return to the game. Um, yeah, you know, you, you hate to see that. You hate you want to see this, this, this uh game go down the wire with the, with the best players in tow. If, if certainly Durant's not there, at least Clay be Clay Thompson be there, you know, you didn't get that. And that was kind of disappointing, but in the end, you know, you have to give, give Golden State credit because even without Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant in this game, they fought, they fought tooth and nail. I mean, they made it tough. Toronto pull away. Toronto grab, seemingly control of the game in the fourth quarter, and but then, you know, the Warriors stayed in it, but, but plucky enough. You know, Curry obviously it was getting double teamed almost every play, still find ways to stay involved as possible. Uh, but you know, again, it's tough. Toronto. Found, found ways to win. Fred Van Vliet was amazing. Uh, Kyle Lowry had a phenomenal game. Kyle Lowry is slayed all his playoff demons in one, in one playoff run. And Kawhi. I mean, Kawhi didn't really didn't have a great game necessarily. But he made plays when he needed to. And he was, again, the final MVP. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to be unfair because as, as good as... And Toronto deserves this deserves the all the attention for winning the title and, and all that and, and everything that comes with it. But all the attention is gonna go, go on Golden State immediately because with the Warriors, they're they're now the most fascinating team entering free agency, entering the offseason. Kevin Durant's out for the year next year. That's been confirmed now. He has torn Achilles. Uh Steve Curtin confirmed that today in his press conference right after the game that Kevin Durant will be out for the season next year. Kevin Durant can opt in his deal. Um which could complicate things for the Warriors in terms of his cap room and you know what they do with Clay Thompson and how they how they uh how the, how the money aspect gets talked about, um, and uh, 
Yeah, Golden State is, is, is fascinating. And, you know, I, I tweeted after the game that this could be the end of the, the Warriors' uh, dynasty because if, if, if not the end of the dynasty, at least on pause for a year because certainly Golden State is a playoff team no matter what. You know, assuming they have the same team back to get next year. But could this team, minus Kevin Durant, be the same team, be impactful in the same way they've been the last five years, minus Kevin Durant, uh, next year? Could they be? And, you know... We don't know because the landscape, the landscape of the NBA is, is, could be changing in a dramatic way in the coming weeks, coming days. Uh, the trade rumors about Anthony Davis going to the Lakers is heating up now. Certainly, you know, with all the stuff the Lakers be doing being dysfunctional, you get Anthony Davis on your team with LeBron James, and you still got cap room for another Max. You know, that changes the conversation in the Western Conference a little bit. You got teams in the Western Conference that's still in the mix, uh, and the Warriors will not have Kevin Durant next year, even if he's on the roster. You know, so that changes things in, in, you know, with the Warriors. And, you know, they, they, they will have to probably go, you know, find ways to, uh, you know, either get younger or get a fresher bench because they've gotten older. The, the, the Warriors, for the most part, outside their big three, big four, uh, they've gotten older. You know, Sean Livingston isn't, isn't, isn't as impactful as he was three years ago. Iguodala can be good at times, but he's not... I mean, Iguodala was great tonight, but he can be... He's not, he's not that guy every night anymore. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of question marks being answered. Questions being answered on the Golden State end. So this is going to be a fascinating uh, offseason. But again, congrats to the Toronto Raptors. Um, happy, for the, happy for them. I'm especially happy for Kawhi Leonard for winning the title. So that's a nice rant. Over and out. Until next time.